Are you a little bit older and you're feeling discouraged about starting a construction company? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you some very specific ways you can leverage your experience to build a thriving construction company. Keep watching. Hey, I'm Jesse Lane, an eight-figure construction business owner here on YouTube, helping you start your business. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified for future videos. So first of all, let me tell you that age is just a number. It does come down to your determination, your life experience, and your skill set that's really gonna make you successful. There are so many advantages that you already have, especially if you're a little bit older and you wanna start and run a thriving construction business. But first, let's talk about a couple concerns that you might be having. Number one is the physical demands. So you may be concerned, you know, you're getting a little bit older and wanna start a construction business. Like, how physically demanding is this gonna be? Well, let me tell you, with you as the entrepreneur, your main goal is going to be leadership, vision, strategy, you know, guiding the other people to run your business. You're gonna be the guy hiring people, not necessarily doing all the work. So if you build it right by using all of your past life experiences and skills and abilities, this way you can avoid the physically demanding aspects of running a construction business. So concern number two, you might be concerned about the financial risk. Well, starting any business, you're gonna have some financial risk, but there are ways to do this correctly. You can minimize financial risk by developing a business plan, starting things small and growing accordingly to manage your cash flow. You can seek advice from experts in finance and sales in construction business management. You could watch this YouTube channel more. You could go to jessielane.com, online courses, digital products for your construction business. Coaching is available, jessielane.com. There's tons of opportunities online and in person for you to minimize your financial risk. The third concern might be your energy levels. Running a business can be very mentally intensive. Energy just in general, not just the physical. You're not gonna be doing the physical work, we all know that. But how can you manage these energy levels? Well, I think a balanced lifestyle really helps with this. You gotta eat right, you gotta sleep right, you gotta work out right, and you have to take some leisure time, you know? So getting away, clearing your mind, doing some focus on your breathing, you know, there's ways to manage energy levels, especially once you get older. See, I even got gray hairs popping up everywhere. My wife has to pull them out of my face. So I'm dealing with it too, and I'm only 31, so. Another huge aspect to the energy levels is working within your passion. If you find yourself doing tasks that drain your energy, it might mean there's a little bit of a passion misaligned. But if you love what you do, then your energy levels won't be as drained, you're still gonna, you know, drain, if this is your tank, you're still gonna drain some of your energy levels, but it's not gonna deplete your energy levels because you love to do it. In fact, when I go to work, it actually gives me energy because I'm like so amped up on getting crap done because I love what I do, you know? So delegate the things that you don't like to do so you can excel and build a business. Now let's talk about some benefits of owning a construction business at an older age. I have 10 things for you to think about. Number one is life experience. So you've had a lot more life experience solving problems, maybe even managing people, you know, at, with your old profession or whatever you did before. So you're going to have a lot more, not even probably, you are going to have a lot more life experience to bring to the table versus a younger, you know, someone who wants to start a construction business. So I think it'd be more successful. And even better, if you have worked inside of another construction business, you can take all of that skill and experience that you gained and apply it to your business. So you're gonna know more about how to manage the day-to-day -day in a construction business, how to manage workers, and how to deliver projects on time and within budget. Benefit number two is an established reputation. The vendors, the people, your relationships that you've built, your reputation just in life. This is gonna dramatically help you when you go to establish a business connection with your new employees or investors or business partners even and of course with new clients maybe your clients are gonna know oh yeah I've heard about you know whatever your name is I first started my company I had just turned 22 and I even had braces when I was 24 imagine that the youngest guy starting a business trying to be a GC and I had braces for 18 months. It was extremely difficult for me to, you know, push through that. That's the younger aspect. But for you, think of the advantage you have. You don't even look older, but you are older, bringing all that knowledge and experience. 
and your reputation. Number three is financial stability. You're gonna have more financial stability. So like if you go to get a loan or something like that, you might have more savings in your account to use as the upstart for your new startup versus someone that is younger, that is trying to start their construction business, you're gonna have a major leg up on them. So the first few years are gonna be super, super challenging and super difficult not to deter you or discourage you, but you'll have a little bit more of an advantage during those hard first few years to have your savings as a buffer and your financial stability as a way to maybe get a line of credit or et cetera. Number four, patience and wisdom. So when you're older, you're gonna have a lot of patience and wisdom, which is one thing that I did not have as a 22 year old construction business owner. I literally just made all my decisions, like seat in my pants, just like, oh, well this feels good, looks good, might be good, let's go for it. I just went for everything. But you're gonna have a lot more patience and wisdom than a young little schmuck like me did when I was starting my business. So that's gonna be a major benefit for you. You're gonna have the ability to make much more thoughtful, informed decisions versus rushing into something that's risky. Business does have risk, but you're gonna be able to avoid some of those hard lessons that young guys like me had to learn the hard way. Number five is understanding the market. You've spent so many years on earth and you understand where the market's going. This is going to enable you to identify those gaps and opportunities for massive business growth. So with this savvy understanding of the market, you're gonna be not just going with the flow, you're gonna be steering the ship. You're gonna be adapting to change, seizing opportunities, and bridging gaps. Your business won't just be getting by, it's going to be growing, making huge waves in life, and you're gonna make a real impact. Number six is leadership skills. Leadership is such a massive factor when it comes to running a business. So you're gonna be well ahead of the norm if you have a little bit more life and hopefully leadership experience baked to the mix. Number seven is you're gonna have a clearer vision and stronger goals. So people that have been on earth longer are gonna have a little bit more defined sense of who they are, which is gonna to lead to a much better business plan. You're gonna know more about specifically what you want to achieve, the why behind it, and you're gonna have much more self-awareness. So as an older entrepreneur, you're probably gonna have a little bit more vision into the why and where you want this business to go, what maybe your personal goals are, maybe you want a family life goal or maybe a retirement goal, you know, because maybe this business could be a vehicle that gets you there. Number eight is resilience. So as an older entrepreneur, you've been through a lot. You've weathered the ups and downs of business and life in general. So you're gonna have a little bit more resilience when it comes to those really, really hard spots of owning a business. So when the going gets tough, you're probably gonna have a little bit more of a stronger will versus your younger counterparts trying to start their businesses. Forget them, bro, it's all about you. Number nine is mentorship, which is actually a big part of what I'm doing on YouTube. But you, as an older entrepreneur, especially once you get going, you can start mentoring younger entrepreneurs. Any entrepreneur can mentor, but you're gonna have a lot more life experience, like we've been saying. So this is gonna leave you you know, really fulfilled when it comes to leaving a legacy, which is, again, what I'm doing here digitally on YouTube. But you can apply this type of thought to younger people in person. I do it as well to certain people in person. So you're gonna leave a legacy as someone who ought to be remembered. Which leads me to number 10, which is our final point, which is purpose and fulfillment. Upstarting a company, starting something from scratch is gonna provide something more than just economic opportunity. It's gonna infuse passion and fulfillment into your life. So the act of building this business, which by the way, I'm super excited for you, is going to carry such a unparalleled weight of accomplishment. And you're gonna leave such an amazing legacy. You're gonna live a life more than just getting that paycheck, going to work for someone else. You're starting your own thing. And that's truly admirable. This, my friend, is something that has your personal stamp on it. And it's truly amazing. So if you like this video, leave the like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. And if you want to subscribe, then you can subscribe. I'm just kidding about the dislike, by the way. But I'll see you in next week's video. And go get that business going. Check out jessielane.com for business templates, specifically for construction businesses. And I'll see you in the next video.